the Gamers Pass podcast where us gamers get together and chat and hang out and just just express the glory and deliciousness of gaming. And joining me today is Lightsy. Lightsy, how are you doing and what have you been playing? Uh, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> Bought some Pokemon cards yesterday and oh, pulled yes. a pulled a really good one. I'll show it later. Show it at the end. Okay, cool. <laughs> show it later. Um <clears throat> haven't really been playing a lot this week didn't didn't turn on my switch okay at all and i didn't do my animal crossing dailies this week um but our topic is perfect for you not playing anything today so this is great news yeah so not great news but like this it just works perfectly. it's basically all that i really was playing this week so excellent all right i'm looking forward to hearing that and uh Lightsy has some uh three packs left of pokemon card opening uh which i'm super excited about i can't wait to see what you get and i, I can't wait for you to show the card to these boys oh there it is like mark's gonna know lee is gonna have the same reaction as me it's just Okay, cool. But he'll be more he'll be excited like me on the value. Just just as a heads up. Next, mm -hmm. you guys all know that social media guru Lee Everett Lee. I want to know how you doing and what you've been playing. Uh, I'm doing all right. I mean, I haven't to to be honest, like like see, I haven't really been playing anything. Um I mean, I've I mean, I hopped on to uh, Apex Legends on the Switch briefly, but um, but that was pretty much it. I know, I know, you're not a fan of Apex on the Switch, but um, I love it on Xbox. On yeah. the Switch, we all streamed it. That's played. why he wasn't here last week. Oh, <laughs> he was playing Apex last week. So this week, if you guys don't know, Lee has abandoned us on a stream and a podcast. So without really oh, any yeah. any excuses, and it wasn't even for a girl. So uh, we're overall we're heartbroken and disappointed. So Lee, keep going, sir. Um, but that was pretty much it. <laughs> Excellent. I said on stream yesterday, I think it was before Lee hopped on, was like, I I need to stop harassing this kid so much. So, um, but here I am, zinger. You're doing a big good start there. <laughs> I know, I am, I'm such a loser. I'm so sorry. All right, Ultimate Hater 87, a.k.a. Mark. We love you, my man. What have you been playing? How you doing? i uh, doing <clears throat> doing pretty good uh, overall. Um, let's see. This week I've been playing Star Fox 64. Oh, uh, nice. Yeah, I, I, I played that on my stream. I went through the whole game. That was, that was a fun throwback. Um, the whole game? You see, did I, it all? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I could beat that game in, like, I, under an hour. I'm having flashbacks of when I was, I would have been almost 20 playing out, 18 or something like that, playing that on, in my room. Oh, it was such a good experience. Oh, yeah, you can go through all the different levels and stuff like that. There's different paths you can yeah. go through. Is under an hour, cool. though? Yeah, under an hour. I guess I you hardcore that. N64 player. <laughs> um so i played that i played a little zelda um i do did run a couple games of warzone since they did a update uh, on it uh new new season and a new map change uh they've actually leveled half of the downtown area wow okay yeah so it's a big giant rumble everywhere it's 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 so it's a little bit different uh so i've been playing i played a couple matches of that played one last night as well and i played among us oh, i was playing okay. that at work at work the other day that yeah. was that was pretty fun a little throwback and um today i'm playing a little bit of pokemon go go right now as we speak oh okay can so. how like are, do you have it set up where you can travel around the world on your phone well no uh well i got a actual i got a gym like probably couple hundred feet from my house because yep. i got a school like right next to my house and right up the street from my house okay. there's actually a church uh oh. so there's a pokemon stop right there yeah so i just got that uh the incense on to attract wild pokemon and stuff so i haven't played oh, i cool. haven't turned that on in a long time so i just wanted to see what what's out there right now yeah it's it's been forever for me as well but i still have pokemon go i still have it on my phone but i haven't played it in like two years and uh, oh, and Lightsy has it. Lee, are you playing this yet? 
Uh, no, no, I don't. I know that's cool. That, and that's cool. I, um, yeah, it's, it's all right. Anything else you've been playing? I'm glad you brought uh, it. No, that's it. Go as well. That's perfect. That is it. All right. For me, as always, my week is always filled with gaming as I, I freaking love it. Um, I went ahead and bought, uh, since it was on sale this week on the Xbox Play Store or Game Store, I've been, I've been wanting to get it on the Xbox forever. Uh, Red Dead Redemption 2, playing through the story. I'm loving it. And I'm soaking it in. I already beat it on stream on PlayStation. And uh, it's as exciting as that was. Of course, you miss a lot of the story because you chat all the time and blah, blah, blah. And now I'm just, I'm just, I'm seeing things like, I don't remember this. I don't remember that. I, and it's just, it's some things, of course, I do because they're really good. Um, Battlefield 2042, which I do want to talk about in a little bit. But I've been playing that beta Oh, my whole house was playing it early in the morning. It was like four in the morning. Isaiah was playing in his room. <laughs> Isaac got up uh, because Isaiah came bursting out of the room because there was a tornado happening in the game. And he's like, whoa. And then Isaac's like, what's going on? And so he started playing. I tweeted out a picture of us playing. And so my house was playing Battlefield 2042 at four in the morning. And so I'll save a little bit more for that later on. Um, but other than that, um, I played Minecraft Dungeons this week with James Mucklin, and um, I think that's it. I love Minecraft Dungeons; it's so much fun. So I can't wait to to. Far Cry. What's this? Far, Far Cry, Cry Six. 6. Yeah. So uh, that was purchased from the UK and sent to me, Mark. Mark. So when you had tried to gift me Friday the Thirteenth and it wouldn't work because it was a different region and country. Yeah. Uh, you, I apparently you have to call Microsoft and then they they apply it to the account, I guess. So James did it, and I was like, James, I appreciate it, thank you so much. But I'm going to show you the screenshot here on the Xbox. It does not allow me because it's a different region. He's like, I'm not accepting that. And he called Microsoft, and I think it took three, four minutes, and bam, he's like, Paul, it should be there. And, and I was like, all right, and we installed it and played it, and it's really good. It's beautiful. The graphics, graphics alone is outstanding and wonderful so the game is far cry it is it's far cry 6 it's good and i am enjoying it i can't wait to jump more into it but uh, that's been my week is those games there and just having a really good time so yeah thank you huge thank you to james mucklin for hooking us up and giving us and i streamed yesterday for like four hours and we had an issue where obs was like yeah this sucks and then crapped out my stream and i had to start over and Ah, it's all good. So, guys, I want to get into some news before we get into the meat and potatoes, as my buddy from Mary Machine calls it, potatoes. Uh, uh, GTA Trilogy. I am beyond excited because it was officially announced. Someone said on stream it was being remade with like uh, Unreal Engine. I, I I don't know. I don't know if that's true or if that will work. Uh, because that's not GTA. They don't use. I'm, I'm pretty sure they don't use Unreal Engine. They use their own. But that's going to be gorgeous. It's GTA 3, GTA Vice City, and GTA San Andreas. I know we had. I think we talked about it last week or the week before. Just like rumors. But it is officially announced. Mark, is this something that's going to? Uh, it is coming out later this year. This year, uh, which I'm super excited about. And if you want to play on iOS or Android, it's going to be early next year. Okay. But Mark, what do you think? Is this something that you uh, you want to play? A hundred percent, especially Vice City. Vice City, yeah. So you play? Did you play all of them? Oh yeah, oh yeah. GTA Three with the with the mafia and stuff yep. like that. Um, uh, you know that was already awesome. Then we go to Vice City, and you go to the eighties during the cocaine area uh, era, yep. and. Um, but, uh, you know, Scarface and stuff like that, you know, a lot a lot of that was uh, based off that movie and everything. Mm -hmm. The music was awesome. Then sure. uh, San Andreas, uh, you know, the early 90s hip hop area. Yes, that was pretty cool. That was th those those are three just legendary games right there. So for me, San Andreas, I barely played and it's sitting in my wish list on my Xbox. But like now, of course, I'm not going to buy it because I'm going to all end up getting the 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 trilogy package but i can't I, I barely played it i cannot wait to dive right into there lee is this even though it's coming out for nintendo switch lee is this something that excites you or uh you you want to play i mean yeah but it does sort of 
harken back to what I've said before, where it's like they're, they're not making anything new still. And, you know, it's like, hey, here's the stuff we made again. <laughs> like, <laughs> the, I see what you're saying. There's, you know, <clears throat> the, there's, on, there's only so many times you can re-release something. Um, like, but this is the first re-release, though, of these original trilogy, which I think everybody wants, though. Possibly. Yeah, but like, but still, if if they put half the time in into making a new game as opposed to re-releasing the old ones, then we could have GTA uh, GTA by now. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I, I know. Now I know what you're saying, Lightsy. Yes, <laughs> we could have GTA GTA. I'll let Lightsy explain that here in a second. Uh, but uh, I have I have rebuttals, Lee. But I have to respect your opinion. I know. <laughs> Lightsy, is this something that you want to play? Or is this something like, is this a day one purchase? Or something like, I'd like to add it to my library eventually. Uh, I mean, if someone gifted it to me, I'd play it. Hit, I hit. think. Um... Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> I, I, uh, I want to say that... Um... Gosh darn it. The name just slipped in my head. That's not okay. not uh not Vice City. San Andreas? Yeah, San Andreas was the first GTA that I played. Okay. So, like, okay. It, it would be it would be nice to like play through that again. So explain GTA GTA for those that don't know. I, I think I, I yeah. don't even think so, anybody would really know except for you and I now because I had no clue when you said it on stream there yesterday. So I feel like the whole Rockstar Games and GTA franchise is missing out on doing a GTA in the GTA game. <laughs> And by GTA, I mean Greater Toronto Area. <laughs> <laughs> Which is awesome. But just the way that they could they could name it GTA in GTA. <laughs> that that would be funny. Just even DLC, I guess. But those those yeah. that don't know, Toronto is kind of like the the Mecca of Canada for like New York. It'd be like New York City equivalent almost, but not as awesome as New York. And that, that's what that would be. Quick, super fast question. Is hot coffee going to be available in San Andreas? I don't know. My coffee's cold. Okay. So Lightsy doesn't know. Lee, hot coffee? Uh, I don't drink coffee. So. Okay. So Lee doesn't know. Mark, are you familiar with the San Andreas hot coffee? I think it was Hillary Clinton that had a problem with it, if I remember correctly. I, um, I don't know. I don't know that. I never heard that. Yeah, yeah. I, I remember I remember uh, the conversations about that stuff, but yeah, the I hope it's in I hope it's in the game because I mean I don't know. That would be a riot. Let me see if I let me see if I can Google up a story. Uh so those that don't know, San Andreas hot coffee, there was it was a mod, basically, but I think what they did was they used uh, what was in the game already, but just kind of blocked out so people couldn't do it. But you could go home and you could rock your girlfriend, uh, and they called it Hot Coffee Mod. And legit, it's a full mod where you're you're just having intercourse with your girlfriend. <laughs> And so, well, I was going to say something, but I'm not going to say it now. Well, say it. It's all good. I was going to say, you know what game does have hot coffee soon, but. What? Animal Crossing. Oh, no. <laughs> all right. Different, different hot coffee. There's no way we're giving it to Brewster. All right. Just as a heads up. So the hot coffee is a, yeah. is normally inaccessible mini game um, in 2004. Uh developed by Rockstar. A minigame allows players as protagonist Carl C.J. Johnson to have animated sexual intercourse with an in-game girlfriend of their choosing. And uh, I never I never got to do it or anything like that, but you can watch videos uh, and there's screenshots of uh, <laughs> like push up and down in rhythm. Uh, I'm just... <laughs> 
<laughs> so, but, those of you in the comments, let me know. Do you think San Andreas Hot Coffee mod should be in the game? Mark? How good were you at that mod? It, like, if, if you had to, like, do I, the up and down in rhythm, like... I would be amazing. Were you good at the sex? <laughs> I have many years of practice. It would be outstanding. <laughs> Lee's all embarrassed. Mark? Well, like I said, I don't drink coffee, so... <laughs> I don't either. drink coffee. Um... Well, yeah, I, I just had to double check. It was Hillary Clinton that had a big issue over it. But okay. if I'm not mistaken, didn't didn't God of War have um, have a sex scene, sex mini game to it? I don't know. I I know honestly, my knowledge of of God of War is zero, and I would like yeah. to get into it, but I, I will I, I, now for sure. Now that you mentioned that. I could have sworn say, there was. <laughs> you might not know God of War, but I thought you knew some sexy games, Paul. <laughs> right. Definitely. And, and, and not only that, I mean, the last GTA, uh, your first opening scene of Trevor is him having sex with uh, yeah. that guy's girlfriend. <laughs> yes. You know, that's how Trevor was introduced. So, I mean, I guess, yeah, I mean. I don't know. I, mean, I don't why know not? either. I I think that would be hilarious, but uh, I don't know. Like, kids let their their parents let their kids play GTA Five, and you can go to a full strip bar and get a lap dance and all that wonderfulness, animated style. So, I don't know. Well, that's why the that's why the game has a rating on there. True. If parents re really cared, you know, then their kids wouldn't be playing that. So we need to do. I mean, that's. We need to do a full story on the ESRB uh, and parental, um, I guess, guidance towards kids playing games like GTA. Um, Red Dead Redemption 2, I'm surprised that there really isn't any nudity or you can go in and um, with with one of the prostitutes or even the girls in your camp. Um, I'm surprised there isn't. You can't just go do that. There's There's a bath scene where the girl comes in and gives you a, a, like a washing down of sorts. You can pay extra for that uh, bath, yes. a, a bathing, that's but that's nothing. And with the whole bathing scene, I think of Witcher 3, right? Like you can, um, there's lots of good stuff in Witcher 3. So I don't know, hot coffee, hot coffee, Lee, hot coffee. And you can, you can search the videos, sir. <laughs> All right. Anything else on the GTA trilogy? Nothing. All right, cool. So, they had new Amiibos announced. And since I started selling all of my Amiibos, um, th this just sucks overall, but it's amazing for Amiibo collectors. Um, the new Amiibos is going to be Steve and Alex, of course, from Minecraft, which is really awesome. They're all in Super... Or, yeah, they're in Super Smash Bros. And Sora from Kingdom of Hearts is the last fighter... For Super Smash Bros. Which really blew everybody's mind. I don't think anybody knew it was coming. Um, all three titles will be play playable. So check this out. The Kingdom Hearts games are coming to the Nintendo Switch. I don't know if you guys played Kingdom Hearts. So uh, that's Kingdom Hearts HD 1.5 plus 2.5 Remix. Kingdom Hearts HD 2.8 Final Chapter Prologue. And Kingdom Hearts 3. It is all coming to the Nintendo Switch. Which is pretty cool for those that love Kingdom Hearts, because people do. Lightsy, are you a Kingdom Hearts fan? Have you played any of the games? I haven't played them myself. I've watched videos and streams of people playing it and stuff. But... Okay, cool. Lee, how about you? Um, I mean, it's um, I know I I do know that a lot of people enjoy it, but it's it's, it's not for me, sure. um, Kingdom Hearts, but um. But I, I am aware of um, Sora, and and I think I think they're a great addition to it. So sure, as the final character too. So I think yeah. there's like 84 or 85 characters in Smash Bros, which is wild. Mark, are you a Kingdom Hearts fan? Uh, well, no. The only one I played was Kingdom Hearts three. I did enjoy it yep. uh, until I got lost, and I, I just like I don't know what to do at this point. So I kind of lost interest. Uh, but uh, I played it. I played it uh, simply because it was on the Xbox Game Pass. No, that's awesome. Yeah, I, I I think I started it and I was like, oh, I'm not really in the mood for it. And so that was that. But uh, what it's what Mickey Mouse crew, 
with the hobby. Yeah. These, uh, it's like a RPG of sorts and stuff. So people love Kingdom Hearts. I know Jonathan, aka, AKA Big Boss Elite, also known as Revolver Ocelot, loves the Kingdom Hearts series, and uh, he could go into hours of chatting about that. And your cat is loving the attention right now. It's so <laughs> funny. All right, so that's pretty exciting uh, for Nintendo Switch owners to have that uh, come into the Nintendo Switch. The uh, ni- the OLED Nintendo Switch was announced, or sorry, released. People are freaking out, having a good time. They're actually loving it. Is this something either of you are going to get? Well, I'm still trying to get used to my own Switch right now. <laughs> I suppose. Lightsy? Uh, I might. I mean, I'm I'm still you know gonna hold out to see if a pro. Yeah, that's that's what I'm waiting released for. Released first, but I might. And Mark, what about you? Uh, Nintendo Switch OLED. Is this something that you want to get, or are you waiting for the pro as well? I'm wait. I'm waiting on the pro. I'm yeah. just uh, watching uh, Light Suit with the Cat, and I was just thinking I was watching uh, Tiger King last week. Oh no! <laughs> was like, Guys, was they're doing a the season cat, two of Tiger King, which is. They Mind must have work. found more evidence about Carol Bath. <laughs> oh God, I can't, I can't even imagine. Ugh. Was that your first that time was watching one of that, the, Mark? Uh, uh, yeah, that was one of the craziest shows I have ever seen in my life. And here we are talking about Tiger King on the Gamers Podcast, but it's <laughs> that sh- that is the most ridiculous thing I have ever seen in my life. Lee. And, and Joe Exotic is is probably, I mean. He, he's a character for sure. That, oh my that guy is something. Lee, have you... I wonder if he'll ever get released. <laughs> have you watched Tiger King? I'm afraid to touch it. So, everybody in the world, uh, like when you're making... If people make fun of the U.S. or anything like that, one of the one of the jokes about crazy people always is reflecting on Florida. Always Florida. Oh, yeah. You hear like stories. Florida man does this. And Florida, Florida man, man does that. yeah, mowing his lawn naked. And it's okay because he's in his yard and he's not out on the streets. Stuff, crazy stuff like that. So Tiger King is Florida. <laughs> but I, I don't know how to explain it. Carol Baskin, allegedly from these people fed her husband to the lions or tigers which i'm gonna tell you i believe it <laughs> i do too i believe I it too. yeah i believe it it's, it's sad to say dude had tons of money well let's let's feed him to the tigers because anyways that's lee i highly recommend watching this because it is it is mind-blowing funny you'll you shake see your the cloud of cat hair that is flying around right now. <laughs> Yeah, I can't see it. It's just it's a it's next level crazy, and it's it's actually entertaining. And uh, yeah, Joe Exotic. I don't know if he'll ever yeah. be released. Mark, uh, who knows? Carol Baskin should be in well, there too. He he was right about Carol Baskin. I give him that. He was right about Carol. Yeah. <laughs> you I, know uh, everything everything he said about her her. Uh, her basically doing the same thing that he was doing and everything like that. It, it is true. She is. Man, oh, man. So she has his whole Tiger Emporium now, eh? They gave it, they yeah, gave yeah. it to her. Mm-hmm. Anyways, Lee, you got to watch it, dude. Like, so you've seen it, though, right? Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, my gosh. This is why we need to do a movie TV gaming or movie TV podcast because it would be a riot. We could just watch the stuff because with games, games are so expensive that we all don't get to play the same games and all that. But (laughs) with Netflix and all these other stuff, we can just and with the Internet, you can pretty much watch anything and everything. Oh, my gosh. Mark, that's funny that you brought that up because they're doing a season two somehow. And with all honesty, Joe Exotic, he's been in. Well, I don't want to ruin it for Lee, but I'm sure he already knows. But like he he wanted Trump to give him a uh, what was it? Um, a, a pardon. Yes, pardon. A, a full pardon. He was waiting. Yeah. And then oh, Joe Exotic's music and his songs are some of the best heavenly songs you've ever <laughs> ever experienced. And this is it's yeah. next level crazy, Lee. It's next level crazy, and they're not actors; they are legit living human beings 
That's all I can say. Well, that's all I can say. And I, I, do you have Netflix right there, Lee, on your phone or anything? Um, I do have Netflix, yeah. Can you bring it up to see if you can get it in the UK? Because I know I can get shows that you guys can't in the UK, yeah. you guys can't in the US. And, yeah, yeah, you can do that. But they started catching on to that, Lacey. Uh, if you after a little bit, they're I like, uh, "You're not in the U.S." Actually, my 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 free VPN. I used to be able to watch like an hour in um, in the states, yep. and then I'd have to watch an hour of something else to reload my time and stuff. Yep. It I abused that so much, and I don't know if it was just my account or if this is what they do to everybody who uses it so much. But like after a couple of days, my hour was shrunk down to 30 minutes. Oh, all right. I used so to I pay only, for a yeah. VPN so I could watch American Netflix because it's 10 times better. 10 times better, Mark. You don't realize how wow. good you got it on Netflix. But uh, we still have The Office. We, we do. We do. Um, yes, we still have The, off, the Office. So uh, we don't get it. You got Cobra Kai. We do have Cobra Kai. We don't get HBO Max. We don't get uh, ESPN Plus. Uh, we do have Fun HBO, note. but what's this? Fun note. I was in an HBO show as an extra. What you talk about, Willis? Call Me Fitz. Call I don't know if you've heard of it, but no. it has Jason Priestley in it. Oh, I need to know that. From 90210, yeah. the original 90210. And I was an extra, and I played a juvie girl. Did you get screen in the time? background? Yeah. No way! You must know like the minutes of, or the <laughs> the actual time, right? I'm I'm in the I'm in the first season finale. Yeah. All right. I want to know what time though, because I it, I have it's, it's like around it's it's around ten minutes, I think. Like it's in the beginning. Call me Fitz. Call me maybe. So, guys, those of you that have HBO, you need to check it out. Uh, I kind of want to go look right now, to be honest. That's amazing. I had purple hair at the time. Call me Fitz. <laughs> well, that would be easy to find. Now, how did you? How did that come about? They they were filming in in my like in New Minus. Yeah across from the movie theater there and one one day there was um there was just an open casting call and me and my friend went dropped off our headshots and the next day we had a call and they're like yeah we can use you guys as some extras on monday if you want to come by and i got paid like 150 dollars for a day's work wow were you credited no no. Okay. So your cat is just ripping you apart, and I think your cat wants to eat you, like just totally just devour you. First mom, yeah. I'm gonna eat this string, and then the rest of you is toes. Look at her looking at you, like she wants to bat you in the face right now. She probably will. All I see as you were talking, that cat just going wild, just ar, 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 ar. and and now I keep thinking of Tiger King too. Like if that was a tiger, you would be Carol Carol Baskin's husband right now. <laughs> Well, you remember he did go after his leg. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. You he said you damn thing. <laughs> I got to watch that again cuz it's so stupid. It's entertaining though. All right, guys, that's it for news. We are going to jump into the meat and potatoes of our episode. Uh, I love that we get off on tangents and chat to be honest, uh, yeah. cuz this is this is just perfect. It's 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 just why we get together and it's honestly to do a podcast but to hang out and chat and to watch uh, Lightsy's cat finisher off for dinner or something, which is really, which is really wild. Um, Tiger King. If you've not watched, if you, nobody, anybody watching the millions that are watching this, if you've not Be watched, right back a sure. If you've not watched Tiger King, um, yeah, do it. Cause it, it is entertaining overall. All right. We're going to wait for, uh, any, anything else like guys, uh, Lee, is there anything you've watched? Just before uh, Lightsy comes back, we might as well just chat it up. Uh, I mean, I watched Free Guy yesterday. Oh, that is so good! Yeah, the Ryan Reynolds film. Um, yeah. 
Uh, I thought I thought that was a lot of fun. You went to see Bond recently, didn't you? Yeah, Bond. yeah, I did. How was that? Uh, well, have have you seen it? No, and I'll eventually watch it. It's not a priority because I'll put it on when I have six hours to waste, Lee. Because every James um, Bond movie is six snoozing hours. Go ahead, sorry. <laughs> um, I mean, it was uh, this one was good. Um, the ending was not what I expected. Um, okay. I thought I thought they. Um, I thought they did did a good job with most things. Um, some other things, it felt like some of the actors just didn't want to be there. But um, oh no way! Yeah, um, but but that but that's that's just from from my point of view. And um, I thought the action, the music was great. Um, maybe having the film like three hours long was a bit unnecessary so it is so it is a snooze fest three hours not a snooze fest but like i i guess i guess it depends on how much you get into it if you get into it then the the, the hours fly by but um but i don't think it really needed three full hours but so it worked a critique to an actor who stars in a james bond movie is I don't even know if you really want to be here. That is harsh. That is that is critic. Um, just I don't know, Lee. I don't know what to say. This is a James I mean, it, Bond movie, it, triple A movie. I mean, it may have been like how they were told to act it, but that's the vibe I got across. Wow. Okay. Partic- particularly with one actor. Guys, our movie podcast will be taking off soon, just as a heads up. Because if I hear things like like what Lee just said, I don't think they want to be there in a James Bond. Unless they, they were watching it as they were going and like, oh my gosh, I'm bored too. So, <laughs> just throwing that out there. All right, here we go, guys. Lights, he's back. Um, what I wanted to talk about and uh, what I saw a news report and uh, basically is mobile or mobile gaming. Now, IGN did a report that Apple reportedly made $8.5 billion in operating profits from gaming in just 2019 alone. $8.5 billion, uh, with most of the profits from third-party games on the App Store via its industry standard 30% revenue. Can you imagine... That's how much mobile mobile games, mobile games are being played, purchased. If Apple is getting thirty percent of that, and they make eight point five billion dollars, that is that's just wild. And that's so, just Apple. It's not even Android as well. Ex- yeah, exactly. So Apple made more money on games than Xbox, Sony, Nintendo, and they threw in Activision combined in twenty nineteen. Uh, it goes on to say the Wall Street Journal reports that Apple made 8.5 billion in operating profits from gaming 2019. Players reportedly spend 45 billion on mobile games on the App Store in the 2020 fiscal year. The top two regions for spending were China and the U.S. Going forward, Apple may see less revenue coming in from China, as the Chinese government re- recently set a three-hour limit for kids playing online games. Uh, The top 1% of spenders made up for 64% of the sales on on the App Store, spending about $2,694 each year. These players are known as whales, which I will talk about because I thoroughly despise, uh, and are often the target for microtransactions in free-to-play games. Holy crap. That That is insanity. Uh, so I want to jump to Lightsey first because she hasn't uh, really got into console gaming this week alone. And you've been playing mainly <laughs> mobile games. So Lightsey, I want to know what have you been playing that's mobile? What and we'll go in I'll go into the next section. But what do you what are you currently playing that's a mobile game for you? Um, so right now for my mobile games, um, I'm playing the obvious Pokemon Go. Yep. 
Um, but how long have you been playing Pokemon Go, though? It's been a few years, like day one, isn't it? Yeah, yeah I've been playing Pokemon Go since day one. So, um, And you love Pokemon Go so much, you were willing to, what was it, go to Philly? Was it for a trip for one of their sites? Um, yeah, so back in 2020, they, were, they had a Pokemon Go Safari Zone event that was happening in Philadelphia and this was back when i was with my ex who lived in philly so it was easily accessible for me to get there and have a place to stay and <laughs> everything yeah. but um yeah uh i i was gonna go do that and i was super bummed when it got canceled because of the pandemic right and they recently rescheduled it to be um at the end of the month this month this like end yep. of October here um but there's still no way that I can get to Philly now to sure to go but that's, that's just how funny. big that mobile game itself yeah. is yeah that's, that's amazing and and I mean I did travel to the UK just to play Pokemon Go as well so and yeah you had a butt kicking trip but the per that true purpose was though was to play Pokemon Go over there Mm -hmm. to get the to get the regionals and stuff over there that's amazing that's that, and that's really I, I cool. feel left out <laughs> came all the way over here didn't even see me you were too north okay. well yeah but you came all the way to the east you you, you to the west but oh no no wait yeah yeah it is to the east isn't the uk like a 12 kilometer by 12 kilometer all the way around like you guys lee you could have just yeah. walked to walk to go see her so <laughs> lights i was in london bristol and cardiff lee you could have came to see me oh no my mistake next on dr phil <laughs> lights and lee right. try to mend their relationship all right so, <laughs> so what what else lightsy what else have you been playing that's a mobile um, game yeah so other than pokemon go um I play TFT, which is the League of Legends team fight tactics. I play that Not on Team mobile. Fortress 2. That's what I thought instantly, Team Fortress 2. Um, more recently, there's Pokemon Unite. Yes. Yeah, that and just came out, didn't it? For mobile, yep. Yeah. yeah, like two weeks ago or something? A couple of weeks ago. Yep. Um, let's see. I've got Plants vs. Zombies 2. I've got... The mobile Mario Kart. Hold on, hold on. Um, Plants vs. Zombies 2 on uh, mobile? Yeah. Okay. I didn't know. Yep. Um, Animal Crossing Pocket Camp. Uh, Among Us. Uh, Clash Royale. I haven't played that in a while. And Final Fantasy Brave Exvius. I have that. I haven't started. I haven't played that in a couple of couple of months okay um last night i downloaded idle heroes and have been really going at that idly <laughs> <laughs> so a question for you then is yeah uh, do you play would you say you play more mobile games than you do console games hours spent i should say in a week I know this week, yes. Hours spent? Probably, yeah. Because, like, I'll, I'll sit here and rather than starting up a console and, focus, like, having to focus solely on that to where, like, I don't die or if I'm on Stardew Valley, like, my day isn't just ticking away and I lose a day of progress or whatever yeah because usually when i'm playing my mobile games it's when i'm sitting here watching netflix or catching up on shows and like it's a boring sure, part yeah. of the show and then i just look down at my phone and playing like that okay huh that's fantastic now um mark i'm gonna go to you do you play many mobile games mobile games um, it, it, it's mobile for me. I'm just saying, uh, mobile for some of you. So, do you play a lot of that? Well, uh, I used to play um, 
I had a Pokemon on my other phone. I have a um, Game Boy emulator and a Game, okay. Game Boy Advance emulator. So, so you I have played, an Android uh, phone then, right? Well, right now, my main phone is my iPhone. Then I got a uh, Android phone. I got a okay. Galaxy S10, I believe. But um, on that, on the Android phone, I got the Game Boy and the Game Boy Advance emulator. And uh, I use that to play Pokemon Silver, uh, Red, Blue. Um, and on the, of course, I'm playing Pokemon Fire Red and Sapphire. So I got all the Pokemon games on there. And um, so I use that for that. And uh, I play Among Us, uh, Pokemon Go, and that is it. And wow. uh, uh, poker. I got poker on there as well. Okay. Lee. How, do you play many mobile game mobile games? Do you uh, which ones do you play if you do? I mean, if I'm honest, I um I, I haven't played mobile games for like for like a couple of years now because okay. they they've um well if I'm honest my my phone's trash so um, <laughs> uh but um I just I guess I've i just sort of lost touch with them um. The most time that I've spent in any mobile game would be PUBG Mobile. Okay. Um, but uh, and I did play um, a couple of games of it last night, um, just to show how bad my phone was. But um, <laughs> it was, uh, but it was fun. I mean, that's um, not too much has changed of it really. Um, but yeah, uh, if if I had to pick other games that I've played, I'd say Plague Inc. But I haven't played it since the beginning of the pandemic because we've been doing the real life version of that. <laughs> I never um, even heard of that. That's funny. I've, I've, uh, that um, I've played a bit of Wild Rift, which is the League of Legends on. Yeah, I on have that as well. Phone. I forgot about that one. Um, but it's it's not the same as the the actual thing. And uh, I've played a bit of Among Us, but it's really only only with streamers. Yep. So it's ever since you stopped, I stopped. Yeah, I, I had to stop, though. Yeah. That was that. Um, all right, so Lee, I'll stick with you then. Is there a game that's that's a mobile game that just stands out to you that's just like, okay, this is awesome, I really like it, I love it, uh, and that you possibly can keep coming back to or you miss it, that you had a really good experience um, I mean, I mean, I have some fond memories of like, of like, uh, Minecraft on my phone, but okay. then, but the, um, but now that I've sort of got the real thing, it's just not the same. Like, um, it's, it's a, it's an all right alternative. Um, if, if you want you want a cheaper version of the game but it's not like it, it yeah it's not it's not what the real game is all right uh mark how about you is there a uh, mobile game that's really stood out to you that you like that you love is there a couple of them uh that you could just keep going back to or that like you could invest money into um shoot if i if i could go back in time i would have invested a lot of money into pokemon go uh, when it first started, that was that was huge. Sure. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> when you say invest money, do you mean like investing in the stocks or like investing and putting money into buying things in the game? <laughs> well, almost a little bit of both, but uh, definitely <laughs> stocks. Uh, definitely stocks. Because when Pokemon Go, when yeah. uh, when I've never seen a game ever take off like Pokemon Go did. I mean. There was there. It was to the point where people were hiring. Uh, this is before Uber. Were hiring hiring drivers to drive them around town just to play Pokemon mm -hmm. Go. At least in my city, um, it got to the point where you know downtown Fayetteville, where I met, um, it's not a it's not a nice place to be at night. Um, but when Pokemon Go was at its peak there would be hundreds of people out out in downtown uh, Fayetteville going from one Poke Pokemon stop to another, all chasing Pokemon. And you'll hear somebody, there's a Blastoise. And everyone uh -huh. would just run 
to that area. And, and it was amazing because there were so many people out. They were all friendly. Everyone's cool. having a good time. Um, it, it really did bring a large amount of people in cities together, you know, yeah. all doing the same thing. And, and it got people outside again, it got people moving and walking and, and everything. <laughs> yeah. and it's On- so, so Pokemon go, uh, if, it, it, it was definitely an amazing day. It's still pretty popular, but if I had the money, I would have invested into the sure. stocks of it back then because when it, I mean, I've never, ever, ever in my lifetime seen a game take off and peak like Pokemon Go did in just sure. a matter of weeks. So, mm-hmm. uh, all right. So, but it's... speak. Oh, go ahead. Oh, I was about to say, speaking of which, uh, what is y'all's strongest Pokemon? I have no clue what, about mine. Uh, Lightsy would, uh, Lightsy would have her information. <clears throat> like I said, I haven't played mine in a couple years. I but... have a. Let me see here. Ooh, it is three thousand seven hundred and ninety-two Tyranitar. Three thousand oh, seven hundred. Okay. You got me because all I got is a Dragonite at twenty-five ninety-nine. My second is a Dragonite at three seven six five. Wow. I mean, if we could go back, I mean, now now that the ball's in the park, if we could go back in time and invest money into something. I'd pick Bit Bitcoin. So. Oh gosh. Oh yeah. yeah. Uh, Mark, is there any other games that um, that are mobile that you 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 could keep coming back to, or you have good memories of? Uh, Among Us for a long time because uh, I, <laughs> I was trolling as uh, uh, my my name was D Trump. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, yes. And uh, I had many fun times uh, trolling, trolling uh, with that and everything. And and I can't tell you how many lobbies I've been banned out of and stuff like that. And I wasn't even saying anything bad, but I would just. And it got to the point where I would just be in there, and at the start of the game, or everyone would just say, "Kick D Trump, uh, yes, let, let's kick him off." I'm like, I'm like, what? How do you even do anything yet? <laughs> And, and I had fun trolling with that. Uh, right now, my character is uh, SpongeBob and everything. And I'll just go in there at the lobby and start with the fun song. And oh, uh, so I'm having, yeah, I'm, I'm having fun. That game is great if uh, if you want to be in character and like kind of troll people a little oh, bit. Oh, for sure. Yeah. So. Yeah. You did that on my stream. I'm, re- I'm remembering now. Um, <laughs> my. I want to find that clip. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, there were several of them. Um, I'm looking at my Pokemon Go now. I think my strongest one is a Taurus uh, for 1,243. But like I said, I haven't played in a couple years. I do have a Jolteon that's um, 1108. Yeah, that yeah, that was my that's my top one. So, ha, huh, that's funny. All right, so um, you know that's cool among us, uh, and which is a e- that could work on anybody's phone. I, I'm pretty sure, even the Mickey Mouse kids phone and stuff. So, uh, I mean, lights, you can oh, even buy it on the Switch for no reason. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, Lightsy, how about you? Uh, I know Pokemon Go, but is there any other game that uh, that you can keep going to, even though you've got like thirty of them that you're playing right now? <laughs> um. I think one that I keep going back to just like for some idle time every now and then. I mean, Candy Crush is good. It gets frustrating when you get stuck on a level, but yeah. Um Angry Birds. Oh, yes. Now that's a Classic. good fun game, yeah. I that is fun. I'm surprised that they don't do it anymore. Um or make any new ones. I, I the Star mm. Wars one was really cool, and I enjoyed Angry Birds. That's a good game. I think ever made the films. <laughs> That's right. Oh boy. Um, cut the rope. If, if you guys remember that one, yeah, you were like that. a little. Uh, I can't like remember frog. what it was. I, I a froggy blob thing or yeah. whatever and then he would swing back and forth and you have to like cut it and be like physics for him to like go through mm. a little right. obstacle coursey thing um 
Uh, Pokemon Cafe, I guess. There's that oh, one. Oh, oh, there's a, there's a there's a game that I remember that that is well, I'd say unforgettable, but I think we all just forgot about it. Flappy Bird. Oh yeah, that was yeah, that, that was, was a craze. People that was went a ridiculous. Ago. Yeah, Lee, good good pull on that. Yeah. Oh oh oh, here's one for you, Paul. Oh, Snake. Snake. You know, on the Nokia oh. phone. Uh, the um Slither Slither IO is that is that the one you're referring to? No, no, on the Nokia phones. With the you go around with the dot and then you gotta like collect it and not run into the tail of the snake. The game older than us, Paul. <laughs> oh, so why is he just assumed this ancient old man, Paul? <laughs> um, I'm looking at it now, Lightsy. I never got to play that. Oh, that's a riot. No, you uh, never had one of those old Nokia cell phones. No, have, have you ever played Pong? Of course. Oh, oh. <laughs> Thank you, Lee. <laughs> you guys, Atari. You got to. Re- I grew up. On, uh, we were all. We were on welfare, so I couldn't afford a phone, or my mother didn't even have a phone or anything like that. So, but uh, yeah, it did never. Uh, that's a. What riot. was that other one? Uh, uh, Coleco Vision. Coleco, yes, yeah. And I told the story uh, at my when I was five years old on our street on Curvin Road. Our house had an Atari Twenty Six Hundred. Adel, which was just down the street a little bit, had a Coleco, and across the street from Adel was Billy's house, and he had an Intellivision. And so the three of us got to play, or not, they, they were all my brother's age, so but I got to enjoy it in. We all swapped houses and played games there. So. And I just sent you a picture of Kevin's Intellivision the other day. Yes, you did, yeah, which is really cool. Which is really cool. All right, anything else, I see? <clears throat> No, I don't think so. Those those were the only things that I can think of. I mean, yeah. No, that's cool. It. Some good polls right there, guys. I'm playing one mobile game. I've been playing it just under six years. I was a day one player. Six, <gasps> six year anniversary is November 24th uh, of this year. <laughs> Um, it's a Galaxy of Heroes, isn't it, Paul? It's Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. I hate this game, but I <laughs> love this. I, I can't stop playing it, and I'm going to bring it up for you guys. I'm a day one player, and I have so much, so much invested. This is it here. There's and don't mind the cracks of it, everything, but there's so much to do. And when I brought in the term whales from the story, the whales rule this game, and uh, and. EA knows what they're doing. Uh, whatever I forget the uh, the group that actually Capital Games. Kevin dropped so much money into that game. So I have in the last two to three years, I've not spent a dime. I can probably say in the first two years, I spent about a thousand bucks. <laughs> in two years. That's about how much Kevin was spending about in a month on it. Was he really in a month? I had to stop doing it because uh, you have to keep paying money and keep paying money. Yeah. In order to stay at the top. And so I just unlocked my first Galactic Legend, which was Kylo Ren, even though there's two other versions of Kylo Ren. So it's it's just, it's a money grab game, but it's really good. And it's really frustrating and I hate it all at the same time. So <laughs> that is really the only one I play. Like Steph knows my routine now. Like at, we're watching, we were watching a show last night and I grabbed my iPhone or my iPad. She's like, oh, it's nine o'clock, isn't it? It's like, yep, nine o'clock means you get to refresh your um, uh, your stuff. Anyways, you get tickets every, for me, at my time zone, I get tickets at nine o'clock in the evening. I get it at 6 p.m. in the evening and 12 p.m. Um, in, right in the afternoon. And so I log in each time to collect my tickets, spend them just to get gear and all that stuff. And it's a grind, but I can't stop playing it because I've invested six years of my life. Would I sell my account? Yeah, I probably would. And that's the only way I think I'd break free if I was going to go for my collection. Um, let's do... Like, I've got some guys that are, like, super high tier, but, like, these are all the characters that they have in this game. I don't know how many. I've got almost every one of them. And some of you don't even care. Like, these are still characters you got to grind to get and level up. 
And these are the last four. Uh, oh, Ki-Adi Mundi, sure. Commander, uh, Commander Ahsoka, the new Darth Maul, the Jedi Master Kenobi, Jedi Master Luke Skywalker, and Lord Vader, who's the new one. But I, and also... I know all of those. Yes, you do, you big nerd. You big Star <laughs> Wars nerd. <clears throat> but yeah, it's it's a it is a really good game, and uh, but the joy is is out of it because I know it's a whale game, and uh, that's that's my that's my main frustration. But I'll never stop playing Galactic uh, Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. I'm in clans. I I used to run my own clan in it and everything. So, uh, but if you're a Star Wars fan, you want to get into it. Give her a go and just put the time in. But if you find yourself that I should start spending money, break free. Uh, but like I said, the last three years, I've not spent a dime. I just, as much as I want to, I haven't done it. And uh, and I'll show you. I'll show you what I mean about spend. So these things here, they are, they are crystals. Right now, I don't know if you can, can you see them? They're 9,000. 900, 300, yeah, 9,382. 9, so I've built those up over the years. I've spent some. So if I choose buy more, if I just want 610, it's going to cost me seven bucks. If I want 1,340, it's going to cost me four, uh, $14. If I want 2,800 crystals, it's going to cost me $28. If I want 7,300, it costs me $70. And if I want 15,710 extra crystals it's going to cost me a hundred and forty dollars just for these crystals crystals are meant to refresh to purchase gear to help you progress through the game and um but i you're making me want to cry i know eh it's terrible it, but since i've played this game so long and i've not wailed it out i've got such a surplus of stuff that people are jealous of my account because I have a surplus. For someone to have 9,382 crystals sitting in an account waiting to be spent is is like an envy. People want, they. I have over a billion credits. Um, and they actually have events where to get more credits. But I have over a billion because I just, I just been hoarding stuff and using it when I need it so I can stay semi-competitive. Oh, that's frustrating. I hate the game. <laughs> but I love it all at the same time. Plus it's Star Wars. Ah, but was, which is a love hate relationship, isn't love, it? Yes, it is. Uh, yes, yeah. and we movie podcast. Lee, you save it, Mister. You save it. Yeah. Star Wars, Last Jedi. Ah. Oh. Anyways, guys, any oh. other any other mobile games you want to talk about? <laughs> uh, I mean, I could uh, talk no, about I Pokemon pay Go for forever. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's see. Give me, give me a little. We're just about done, but go ahead. Give me what, what, what would you like to express about Pokemon Go? Like, what I mean, po Pokemon Go is pretty much a cash grab too, and in, in that kind of sense, like you, you gotta, you can get your coins like fifty a day, but you, that's like what you got to do five days. No, what is it? Two hundred four days of gyms and that's hoping that you don't get knocked out early before the like five or eight hours it takes to get your 50 coins yeah but like <clears throat> especially during the pandemic they had um remote raid passes that you know for one it was 100 coins and for three it's 250 or whatever right and like for that you can use those raid passes to do raids anywheres in the world if you get invited to from being at home you don't have to be at that gym to, okay that's cool to raid and then you also have to pay for like the pokemon storage increases like yeah. i'm at friggin 1250 pokemon storage and they only start you off with like 250 300 maybe all right so lightsy i need to ask then in your um longevity of pokemon go and willing to do trips you travel to the uk to do pokemon go what would you say in the ballpark if you don't mind telling us spending uh on this one mobile game you will <laughs> um I have probably 
been in the ballpark of 250 dollars maybe That's since it? it's come out like i i don't i haven't spent a whole lot of money and when i do it's it's tactical and i wait for a special bundle box Which to come into sense. the store yeah. cool. to get like the most out of my coins and get you know like nine or 12 incubators that are worth 200 coins ah, okay. themselves right. and i'm only paying 14 50 coins for Good. the whole bundle so well that's i do really that awesome. but i i don't do that very often like i did I bought two of those boxes before I went to England so that I could have a bunch of incubators for walking around. Um, walking not to Lee's house. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta hatch those eggs. Yeah. Um, yeah, like, I don't spend too much into it. Good. No, that's that's surprisingly awesome. Now, we won't include the price of the UK trip uh, because that was the purpose of playing Pokemon, to go to UK was to play Pokemon Go. So, but no, yeah. that's fantastic. So, with that said... Uh, you know, like, so, some people go to the UK for culture, to visit people, but no, Pokemon Go. Pokemon Go, that's it right there. Uh, Lightsy is going to open up some packs of... Uh, uh, Pokemon cards, but first, Lightsy, I want to see that fantastic uh, card that you got, and tell us a little about it. I'm going to make you as the um, spotlight for everybody. Pop, so let's go. Now you are full screen, Lightsy. Okay, so I got five packs of Evolving Skies, which is the latest booster packs, and... I pulled in my first pack yesterday this VMAX Leafeon, which is number eight on the most expensive cards that you can get from this series. This card is worth anywhere between a hundred and nine to hundred and fifteen dollars. That's incredible. That's a good pull for a six ninety nine package. For a six ninety nine pack, yeah. So I have three more packs that we can open up. All here. right, let's do it. It's just Pokemon cards are so expensive for Lightsy and I. We want to do a full stream where we do the pack openings, uh, like but a bunch of them. Um, and so we will do that eventually. It's just getting the money plus Christmas is coming up. So we'll figure it out, guys. We will figure it out. I totally ruined this, this pack here. As long as you don't bend the cards. Yeah. Okay. One, two, three, four. Starting off it. with the... Energy. Energy. Let's see. We got a shell gone. Okay. I'm just going to turn down my... Light there, so shell gone. Shell gone. Uh, who is that? Swoobat. Okay. Your focus is working as good as my camera sometimes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've got like so much trash in the background. That's okay. <laughs> That's okay. Lombre? Long yeah, way. all right. Yeah. yeah, it's not going to focus whatsoever. Your camera needs a description. <laughs> <laughs> Tentacool. I'm... That's a cool card. Tentacool. Tentacool. Oh, Pikachu. Pikachu. There he is. That's really the only one I know for the most part. Yeah, yeah I recognize that. <laughs> yeah, that's See right. That? Uh, little pot. Okay, and big one. Nope. Oh, a bag on. Next one, is it? Oh. Oh. What do we reverse? got? Is that... This is a reverse hollow. Yeah. Wishy washy. Okay. Wishy washy. Oh. 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 What is that? Next. 
This is V-max. a VMAX Duralodon. And just give me one second here. I did not. Come on, fingerprint. This, is where, this is where Lee needs to come in and be the. Uh... I've got my handy dandy poke collector. Oh, that's cool. That was here. a nice card. Let me see. Sword and Shields, Devolving Skies. 123. Come on, save $50. Where are you? Right there. It is that one. That's worth more in the UK. <laughs> okay, Lee, there you it, go. <laughs> Lee will buy it. He said. Send it to me. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, well, it is 13, uh, not even in the UK, uh, 1395 euros. All right. Um, seven ninety nine U.S. dollars. But yeah, fourteen bucks euros, one hundred and fifty dollars Canadian. Yeah. So there you go. So You're set. I gained a dollar on this pack. <laughs> yes, you did. All right. Okay, so that was the first one. That's weird that it's worth more in the U.K. than it is in uh, the U.S. Well, when we don't have euros in the U.K., it's the yeah, rest euros of Europe. is Europe. Oh yeah. yes, I'm so sorry. You guys get pounds. Yeah, pounds. Pounds. What's that one? But, but we don't use pounds to weigh, so. <laughs> That's right. It's stones, right? Yeah, yeah. It's it's like if you say, oh, I lost 50 pounds in, in like America and Canada, that would be great. In yeah. the UK, it wouldn't. No, yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, shit, do you need help finding that? <laughs> <laughs> Did you go? Did you go? Where did you lose it? I'm going to go look. (laughs) Yeah. All right, let's go. Pack number two. Come on. Oh, I just spoiled one of the cards for himself. One, two, three, four. All right, here we go. Starting off with the grass energy. And ice cube. Okay. Uh, what's that? That is a scroll of the flying dragon trainer card. Okay. Oh, a crustal. Yep. Oh, I recognize that from Pokemon Unite. Yep. Yep. Rufflet. Okay. Uh, Lotad uh, to go with the Lombre from the last pack. A Molga. That's one of the pins that I got from the store yesterday, cool. too. Um, another Woobat. Okay, come on. We're getting there. Gloss Floor. That one's another on. one in Pokemon Unite. Diddly, 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 diddly. Oh, oh, Reverse Raichu. Hollow. Raichu. Reverse That's... Hollow. And? And oh. a regular Sorry. Gigalith. Okay, cool. Reverse so hollow. The right shoe is the good one in that pack. No losing pounds that time, Lee. Mm-hmm. I think um, Pokemon Unite is on is on mobile now. Yes. Yep. Yeah. When yeah, the new I, season dropped, it came out on mobile. Right. Yeah. I haven't tried that, but I I'll stop playing all because of beat 'em ups. Well, I'll beat you up. Oh. Um, <laughs> well, threaten me with violence. That's the UK way. <laughs> One, two, three, four. The British are coming. The British are coming. All right, what do we got? <laughs> Another electric energy. And what's that? A boost strike trainer card. All right. <clears throat> A Rabombi? Uh, what's that? Is that Abalug? Looks like Abalug. Oh, yeah. that's a cool friggin' card. Uh, Nicket. Why is it black, though? Uh, it's a dark Pokemon. Oh, evil Pokemon, what? Um, Ber- Bergmite? Yeah, Bergmite. Uh, Roggenrola? Okay. Oh, we're getting close, kids. Uh, Flabebe? Here we go. Come on. 
I swear these are these are like the first Swabbly? words of babies. I know, eh? No whammies. Oh, oh! a reverse oh, hollow low tag. Come on, come on, here it is. No whammies. No whammies. Oh, and there's a hollow. a hollow Reggie Draco. Excellent. Nice. So no more, no more super rares or anything, but. No, that's cool. Definitely got my money's worth in cards, though. Okay. Yeah, th no, that's fantastic. Very nice. Yeah. Cool. Lee, we're going to jump into your wonderful trivia before we end the show here. Oh, dear. Call me Fritz, or Fitz, purple hair, 10 minutes in, that season finale, episode, season one. Let's go. Right. Um, <laughs> crickets, crickets. Yes. Um, what? Uh, I mean, I wasn't here last week, so I got. We um, know. Oh yeah, you know. Um, so I got a, I got a question on Nintendo sixty four. Yep. Um, what's the the best selling Nintendo sixty four game? Ooh. Okay, okay. I think it's Superman 64, but let's see the options. Uh, right, you got Golden Eye, 2007, um, um, Pokemon Stadium, Donkey Kong 64, or Super Mario 64. You know what's weird is I think this we actually talked about the top selling ones last week and I totally forget. What's the first option again? Golden Eye 007. Oh, it can't be Pokemon Stadium. It's either it's got to be Golden Eye or Super Mario. I'm go. You know what? Just because it's my favorite game of all time, Super Mario 64. I'm just gonna say that. Mark. That's a tough one for me. Um, I want to say GoldenEye, uh, but my gut's telling me it's Super Mario 64, but I don't want to pick the same one you did. You totally can, though. It's probably Pokemon Stadium, to be honest, but I don't know. And, and that's what I'm thinking. Um, it's Pokemon Stadium, but uh, Pokemon Stadium, I think, came out in, like, 99. Something okay. Like that. Ninety-eight, ninety-nine. I'm trying to think. I'm gonna go with Pokemon Stadium. Lightsy, as you're googling it on your phone, we see it in reflection. I'm in not your glasses. googling it on my phone. I can read it from the glasses reflection. It's I'm saying, marking off the Pokemon <laughs> cards that I, I just kidding. got. I'm just kidding. Um, I'm gonna go with Mario 64, even though I want to say Pokemon Stadium, but Mario 64. Okay, Lee, the answer? Super Mario 64. Oh, all right. Lightsy, stop sticking with me for totals here. I'm at 14. Lightsy's at 13. Gaz is at 3. Mark is at 1. Ash is still at 0. Crap. All right. All right. What else we got? You got another one? Um, Yeah, but I've, uh, like, looking at it, I'm, like, I'm not sure whether you're going to get it, but we'll see. Um, as long as I get it, Lee, it's okay. Okay. <laughs> the um, the highest grossing mobile games. So. All right, go ahead, dude, because I don't know if anybody knows this. Yeah, yeah. Um, so we got uh, Clash of Clans. Okay. Pokemon Go. Honor of Kings, like uh -huh. Arena of Va of Valor. Yeah. That's yeah, that one. And um Candy Crush Saga. Oh the saga as in like is is the very first Candy Crush named Candy Crush Saga, or is it like the a bunch of Candy Crush games all into one? Uh it's I'm going Candy Crush Saga either way. Okay. I'm going Pokemon. Candy. Lee? It's Honor of Kings, Arena of Valor. 
haven't even heard of that. We never yeah. heard of. <laughs> I mean that like uh that that's what I sort of thought you wouldn't get. But yeah. Hey no, that's send us those zingers, man. That's that's I uh, I guess uh good promotion for them, the millions that watch this podcast, so they would actually try this game out. I, I mean, I'll tell you what's not on the list. Um, Raid Shadow, Shadow Legends. So, and they've been promoting that like. Yes, that. they have. Yeah, you're <laughs> right. That's on TV constantly with a, a star or a movie Hollywood person promoting it, like yeah. they've played the bloody game. There's no way. <laughs> that's a riot. All right. Do you have another one, or is that it? Uh, that's it, really. Excellent. Alrighty, guys, thank you so much. Those of you that, the, the millions that watch this, please, in the comments, let us know what you're playing for a mobile game uh, or, or anything like that. What are your thoughts? Do you play Pokemon Go? Would you travel to the UK to play Pokemon Go and ignore Lee? Uh, let me know, which is really awesome uh, and a wonderful story. Lightsy, where can these beautiful people find you? You can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Logan Ainsley, um, Lightsy.plays on Instagram, Twitch and YouTube is just Lightsy. I might paint later today or tomorrow, not nice. sure. And happy Canadian Thanksgiving, Lightsy. Yes. And because uh, it is today is Sunday, uh, October 10th, and it is Canadian Thanksgiving. Uh, Mark and Lee, happy Canadian Thanksgiving to you guys. Uh, uh, Mark, where can they find you? You'll find me at uh, Perfect View Production on uh, Facebook and on YouTube and Twitch, Ultimate Hater 87. Okay, excellent. And Lee, you social media stallion. Uh, where can they find you? Uh, you can find me on Discord, or you can send me an email, of which I've changed my name on here to the email. A little bird called Lee at gmail.com. Your hands and thumbs will get tired from typing that, or if you're using the keyboard, it will take a couple <laughs> minutes to type all of that out. But a little bird called Lee at gmail.com. If you want to send them some love, some pictures. Uh, or, I thought or... it was a little bird told Lee. Well, yeah, you're right. <laughs> it's, and it's in the description, guys. A little bird told Lee. Oh, my gosh. This is why you need Twitter, my man. <laughs> You can you can find me at, at Lee Everett, uh, at Twitter, whatever. Come there you on. go. Uh, that's amazing. <laughs> I love it. Lee's face turned instantly purple, and it's still purple. So it's all because Lacey called him out. All right, guys. You're calling out everybody today. <laughs> so all the stuff's in the description and all that. Uh, and uh, fantastic. Guys, thank you so much for sharing your stories. And, uh, and I know people will instantly go and play the mobile games we talked about and all that stuff so uh next week we are going to rock it and do something do something else we'll see we're gonna have a call of duty one coming up uh we'll probably do like a maybe we should do like a horror game one here next week or uh, in two weeks towards uh the 31st i think that would be actually really cool oh snap the 31st is on a sunday we'll see That's um i think i think we'll have to sort something out for that because there's the uh the daylight savings thing so it might affect yes. each other's time zones so yeah we fall back i just wish they would get rid of all of that nonsense mm -hmm. of springing ahead and falling back and it's mm -hmm. i know some provinces in canada is just like we're not doing it i think in the u.s too some are like yeah we're not doing it either so we yeah, all should somewhat. follow suit it's it's dumb i mean um, i i think um I mean, in the UK we do it, but I think it's like a day later from when you from when right. we do it in Canada. Yes, it's like two weeks later or something. It's messed up. Yeah, some yeah. It's messed up. Anyway, so all right, we'll figure it all out. We'll do something, but a horror a horror one would be awesome. Uh, yeah, I'm excited. Let's do it. Uh, so here we go. So as for Lightsy, as for Lee, as for Mark, my name is Paul, and you guys take care. <laughs>